Let's work on some of these, shall we? Right, so everyone pick a number between one and nine. Yeah, let's go seven. All right, let's go seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Right. Oh, you would pick one where there's a chip missing, wouldn't you? Oh, I don't know. Right, okay, number seven it is then. So what we got here, we've got... Uh, let's inspect it under the scope, actually. Right, this has been <laughs> a little bit destroyed. Uh, but let's just give it a visual inspection. So it's a HAD board. Uh, sorry, no, it's a HIC CPU 21. Uh, oof. Okay, got a bit of damage to the LCD connector. Hmm. Yeah, that probably needs replacing. See if we can... There we go. Well, there's the first fix. Is it a Facebook group? No, I hate Facebook, mate. Cannot stand it. We've got a Discord. Right, okay. We have a good-looking Wi-Fi area. This all looks pretty good. Hmm, a bit of flux around there. Port looks pretty good. A uh, little bit of damage to the port in the middle. Uh, starting to come away, so we might have to change that. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor. But hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Coder Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can. Which is why we're proud to talk to you about consolefix.shop. A great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that'll give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description and if there's one thing I can guarantee is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console Fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. Right, let's have a look at the resistance on the CPU cap. Black probe on ground and yep, 4.37k, that reads okay. I've uh, got a couple of knocked resistors. That's uh, that's chip quick flux. Other than those two knocked resistors, the rest of that should be okay. So I'm going to steal this M92 off here. I will say, if, all, if any of these boards have got a blue screen of death, I'm probably not going to work on them tonight. But I don't know where my stencil is. So if they've got blue screen of death, I'll try reflows on them, but other than that... Not going to work on them. Right, that looks pretty good to me. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. This is the start of the stream, what we're looking at. Uh, this is a Nintendo Switch to start with. Don't know what's wrong with it. Um, it's for one of the boards I bought as part of a job lot. I bought 34 boards, and this is a random one which chat picked out for me to actually try. 
Okay, that drops down to zero amps, which is good. So let me just see, do we get a boot sequence on it at all? 500 milliamps, 600 milliamps, that appears to be booting to me. Let's try out the new thermal view and see what the thermal signatures are on it. Not because I want to, uh, not because I need to, but just because I want to. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, about you can narrow, uh, narrowing down the short based on a component, check that out. Let's pop it into a housing and find out what's going on with it. Is it booting up? It appears to be having a boot sequence. Right, well, That not connecting is that flex ribbon. Because it's knackered. Hmm. Oh, is it? Interesting. Uh, is it not connecting the Joy-Con? The fan's spinning, so I know it's... Uh, I know that's okay. Or well, at least I know that part of the circuit's okay. Um... I know this this Joy-Con rail was a little bit finicky, but that is looking like it's not connecting a Joy-Con at all. Ellis, thank you, mate. So I'll make sure that the rail's not faulty, and then if it's not that. Um, we might have to look into another board issue. Right, well that don't appear to be connecting. So it looks like we've got an issue with this one Joy-Con rail. That one's connecting fine. I will just make 100% sure it's not my actual Joy-Con, but it shouldn't be. Damn it, I just pulled it freaking out. You asshole. Yeah, it's not connecting the left Joy-Con. All right, let's just do a few more tests. Just make sure it connects to the internet. Okay. Oh, I'm just scamming Twitch, mate, by telling it I'm playing games. It gets me more viewers. Ha! <laughs> right, it connects to the internet. It appears to connect to, to uh, Nintendo Online. Let's just test uh, a game real quick. If I can find a game card to test it with. There's one right in front of my eyes. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be connecting up a game as well. Why? Ah, there we go. Yep, that got it. Right, okay. So we've got a Joy-Con issue, but that's all that it seems to have. So it's this Joy-Con here, the left Joy-Con. Um, which is on the right hand side on here so it could be a damage connector so let's have a look at that first and nope that looks mint so it could be uh, let's have a look and make sure there's no damage pins good 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 uh, that one's a little bit, a little bit weak. But I think that, well, that could have been me. Um, I will resolder that, but I think that could have been me. Uh, right, let's have a look on the other side. So there's a, a couple of areas what this could be. It could be this area here. Or it could be this here. That's the most likely scenarios. It could be related to the max IC. But that's 
pretty unlikely. I'll tell you what we should do. What we should do is go to the thermal camera. I'm going to connect up a battery. So I'm not going to plug it into the housing, but I'm going to connect up a battery. Um, and I'm going to have a look on the thermal camera and see if anything heats up when I do try and plug in a Joy-Con. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you, buddy. Let's have a look at this area here. That's that's booting up now. So BQ should get a little bit warm. Uh, as is quite normal. M92 should get fairly warm. Again, as is quite normal. Uh, we should be getting some thermal signatures on the back. And the CPU. Yep. Max gets warm. Right, okay. Let's just see if there's any change on this area here. So we're really focusing on this area just there, right? Because that's where the uh, transistor is. And no, it does not. We don't get anything at all. I want to see if we're getting any voltage around here at all. So voltage mode. Nothing. 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 I should be expecting around 4 volts here. I'm not getting anything at all. Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's just um, plug in the charger. Make sure it's waking up. Uh, so that's actually powering off the charger right now. Yeah, absolutely squat there. So, what about this side? We get 1.8 volts, but that 1.8 volts could be, whoops, could be off the actual Joy-Con itself. I'll unplug it in a second and find out. 0.27 volts, 0.6 volts. There we go. So we've got 5 volts coming in on there. Oh, hang on. There we go. Look, I didn't see that before. Right, I'm not going to do this while it's uh, turned off. I'm going to just going to go balls to the wall and just do it while it's turned on because why the hell not? I mean, all we're doing really is soldering a resistor. Nope, maybe not. All right, let's give that a quick try. Uh, so what do we get here? Nothing. Hmm. Right, let's disconnect that and reconnect it. Uh, let's activate the charger first. 
just to make sure it's powered on. And then I'm going to disconnect the Joy-Con, reconnect it. Right, now we're getting 4 volts there, 5 volts there. Was we getting 5 volts there before? No worries, Weetie. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Let's just see if we get any voltage on this side now. 1.8. Okay, now we're getting 1.8 there. Three point three. And five. Yeah, boom. I think that should be working. Actually, let's go for let's go for thermal. Um I just want an excuse to use a thermal camera, to be honest. Let's just see if we're getting any any kind of uh, heat coming off this camera now. When I uh, I believe we are. Yes, that transistor looks like it's getting warm. As if it's charging it. It does look like we've got some heat coming off there now. Cool. Good. So that appears to be at least charging the Joy-Con now. Whether it's actually working is a different question. But we'll see. Yeah, I was using the macro lens then, yeah. Um... Yep, yeah, that that yo 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 you activated then and I know you did. Haha. -ha. Yeah, so like I said, if I let that go, my this Joy-Con rail is a little bit finicky, the, the ribbon cable's a little bit dodgy, but that's working. Boom. Shouldn't have drunk that guy in the water. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Uh, be working, boys. Oh yeah, we love our new toys, mate. Yeah, that was uh, that was easy. <laughs> just a just a blown resistor, uh, just a knocked out resistor. Sorry. Don't, don't forget the weak pin. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that done. I'm just going to unplug it all because I need to clean the back of the board anyway. But that's a win, my friends. That is a win. Lucky number seven. Done. I think that weak pin was me, to be honest. It's probably me just pressing a little bit too hard on it. There we go. Good stuff. Total amount was nine, so you can choose a lucky seven again. <laughs> yep, I'm happy with that. Good stuff. Um, yeah, let's just clean this and uh, call it good to go. That'll go in my pile of boards for sale. Job done. Hey, Raven, thank you. There we go. One working board. There you go. You can see it as well. Yeah, YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> I'm not using that as a thumbnail. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, I need a piss. I'm sorry, but I've got to go to the toilet.